and you guys can ask questions in the comments and stuff and I'll be more than happy to answer I'm on Facebook all the time so you can use any cup doesn't matter the shape size style curve no curve all of that good stuff these are both true 32s from steel magnolia for the tutorial today I'm just using one of the Walmart pre glittered tumblers that they have on sale right now for the for the summer the materials and the process to do this is actually super simple and it's really easy and it's really quick. So you're going to start out the same as any kind of crackle cup. I like to use the Elmer's school glue because it dries fast. I have used the crackle medium but it does take a little bit longer to dry and I did notice that with the crackle medium when you go to wipe it off it does kind of gum up and then you've got this stringy stuff that you kind of have to pull off of. but. Um, both work the exact same. One just takes a little bit longer. So for today's example, um, like I said, I'm going to use the Walmart pre-glittered cup. I came home, I spray painted a clear coat over this because when I brought it home it did have a little bit of a texture to it. And then I did do one coat of epoxy smooth. So this cup right now is super smooth. And I used the Elmer glue, Elmer's glue for the, the crackle part, the crackle part. This already has a coat of it on there and it's completely dry, so the glue part is done. Next, I'm going to use acrylic paint. It is incredibly important that you're using acrylic paint and not something like tempura paint. So, I want to show you guys real quick just a, as an example. So, these are both the same method. Both of these had the same crackle medium on them. This one is considerably more defined and more open space for the, the underneath layer. That's because this has acrylic paint over it and this actually has the tempura paint over it. So the acrylic is designed to dry a little bit faster, tempura paint is wet a little bit longer. And so sometimes when you go to wipe off the tempura paint, you're really just kind of spreading and smoothing the paint out rather than actually removing the paint. So it depends on the look you're going for, but the customer for this cup wanted a more of a more, wanted the pink to be more subtle underneath, not so vibrant. And this one, because I had complete creative control, I wanted the pink and the glitter to be super visible. So I prefer like when I have control over these, or a lot of the times now, everybody really likes the the more open and defined underneath layer. So that's going to be with the Elmer's glue and the acrylic paint. Okay, This right here is the acrylic paint I'm using. It's Folk Art 480 Titanium White. You can use any color. Any color of acrylic paint goes. There's no hold back. Like Don't hold back. Use whatever color you want. Like I did this one as a navy blue. You can use pink, neon, greens, oranges, black if you wanted to. Any color. Like no colors are excluded. So You've got your glue or your crackle medium. It's dry. You're, you're not pulling it off with your hands. The fun part now is the paint, okay? I paint it just like any other method, right? And you wanna do kind of long brush strokes and you go fast, right? Well, I like to go fast. I don't, I don't like spending a whole lot of time doing this stuff, right? It does not matter if you get all of the cup painted or if you have some spots missing because those are going to just kind of blend when you start removing your paint. I do kind of put a little bit of pressure on the brush to kind of push that paint into the glue um, so that when it comes off it, it brings some of the glue with it. So I do apply a little bit of force to the brush and the bristles or the or the sponge part, if you will, in putting that paint on the cup. Okay. I'm gonna do the bottom. Okay, super fast, super quick, not totally even or anything, but again, like none of that matters because you're going to wipe it, it all off anyway. I choose to use paper towels. You can use any other material. You can use cotton rounds, cotton balls if you want to. Just make sure that you're cleaning your tumbler if you're going to use cotton balls because you will get fuzzies everywhere. 
Um, I just prefer the paper towels because it's effective and I buy them in bulk so I have an abundant amount of paper towels everywhere. Okay, so you have your paint on, you've got your glue on, you can already see that it is kind of starting to dry in some places, that's totally fine because when you go to wipe anyway, you're going to use a little bit of force to wipe and it's going to pull it off. So let me show you guys. So you take the paper towel, I have my finger pushed into the paper towel like in a crevice and I just kind of pull it down. I just kind of pull it down. It does get messy and it gets messy fast. So it just kind of depends on, you know, what you're going for. Don't be afraid to get messy. Don't be afraid to get the paint on your hands. It's like I said, it's just acrylic paint. It washes right off. I do have two paper towels because sometimes um, I feel like they gum up pretty fast and then, and then I don't have a clean surface. I don't wipe with the same spot on the paper towel more than two or three times because at that point then it starts kind of rolling and gumming up the paint and then it gets all wonky and weird. It's one of my favorite words as well. So this part here has started to dry a little bit. You can see here that it's getting a little bit more challenging to pull off. You just have to rub a little bit harder. That's all. And you can see like here some of the crackling effect is already kind of coming into play from the glue itself. So you just kind of keep going. I mean, I go, I go all up and down the cup all over it. And I go back and forth two or three times over it until I'm satisfied with it. And you'll see, so like, I don't know, I don't know how well you guys can see it here. But you will get the the glue coming off and it will kind of roll. You just pull those pieces off and then um, you'll have to epoxy until smooth. So like you can see here how it's kind of rolled up. You can just kind of wipe those off. Similar to like, you know, when you used to be in school and you'd paint your hands with glue and then you'd peel the glue off. It's the same thing. And then you just kind of keep going and removing until you're satisfied with it, is really all you do. If you wait until it's dry, you're going to have to either apply more force or you'll have to wet your paper towel a little. You can wet it with water, but it gives you a better, like it gives you better results if you just force it with a dry paper towel, so... That's coming out really pretty. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that. What a pleasant surprise. Um, so you just kind of keep wiping and pulling until it gives you what you want, until you're satisfied with the way it looks. Um, if you're going to do a water slide over it, like I kind of did with the inker, you'll want to leave a section, obviously, that has a little bit more solid paint. Um, not a bunch, but just enough that you have enough white surface on the back of it to get the picture to come through nice and clear. And then of course after you do that, you do the bottom. And there you go. Super easy distressed crackle cup. I, at this point, would let it dry. I mean, like, I can touch it and not get a bunch of the paint on my hands. Like, what I'm getting now is, like, the balled-up paint-glue mixture from rubbing it off. But, like, if I rub my hands over it, it's dry. So, at this point, you can go straight to epoxy if you want. Um, sealing is not necessary. I let it set for a few minutes just because... Um, Hold on, there's a spot that I just don't like. Hold on. Um, um, there we go. Okay. So, 
you can go straight into the epoxy you don't have or yeah as long as the cup is dry to the touch you can go straight into epoxy I prefer to let it set for a minute only because um, once it's completely dried you can run your hand over it and any of those little pieces that might still be sticking up will be gone like you'll be able to just brush them off without like completely pulling off all or some or all more or all of the paint that's on there and there you have it super simple easy peasy I would love to see what you guys do with it if you guys do the method let me know tag me share it with me I want to see because I love it and I hope you guys have a good day bye